22 things that we can do to get out of our own way. And today I wanted to talk to you about the beautiful art of imagination. And you can only achieve things if you can see them in your mind, if you can feel them in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul, that you can accomplish these things. So you have to get that imagination to work. And how you do that is by having a discussion with yourself. What are my intentions? What do I intend to do and how do I intend to do it? And then you have to do the most important thing beyond talking and imagining is take action. Now, once you take action, you know, let's say you want to climb a mountain. It wouldn't be me, but let's say you want to climb a mountain. If you want to climb that mountain, you have to decide how you're going to do it. You have to create a system, a plan, a, a, a route, however it's going to be, whether you're going to have partners, certain tools you need, whatever it is, how you're going to get to the bottom of that mountain to start climbing it. And so you have to take action. So let's say you take some action and you're going to have some, uh, some some things that happen afterwards and then you have to reflect on them okay i took action it didn't go quite the way i wanted you know so what have i learned from it what will i do differently how do i keep going is the point so you have to keep using my magic okay i did this it didn't work now let me try this right and you keep using that beautiful power of your imagination and your mind to keep you focused on the road of whatever your journey, your purpose, your plan, whatever it is you're trying to do, your goals are accomplished. That's what you need to do. So you have to take action and then you have to sit back and you have to reflect on every time you take an action. Okay, this went well, so I'll continue to do this. That didn't go so cool. So we're not going to go that route again, but we'll try this. And that's how you learn how to use the power of your imagination. You know, you have to design that life. This is what it's gonna look like. You know, some of us have dream boards, and if you don't have one, I suggest you get one. And if you don't know how to make one, contact me, and it would be my pleasure to help you. So I want you to remember number 21, imagining the life that you want the action steps you have to take to get there. Reflect on your outcomes each time so that you continue to grow. Don't dwell, don't woe is me, shit happens. It's supposed to happen. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it and we'd all be in the same boat. I don't wanna be in the same boat as everyone else. I've never ever wanted to do or be just like someone. I wanted to do and be the things that came through this mind, this imagination, because of the life experiences that I have had when I've reflected on them. And not everything was good and not everything was bad, but I learned something each time, even if it was the crappiest things, I learned from it. So I wanted to share with you again, number 21 of the 22 things that we can do to get out of our own way is using our imagination to create the life we want. My name is Shirley Felder and I'm CEO of Ordinary Greatness and a very, very grateful life coach with the Healthy, Wealthy and Wise organization. And I look forward to talking to you about number 22 real soon.